So, Karen, tell me about what happened in the summer of 2009. Last summer, um, my family had gone, or my parents had gone on a trip um, to the Bay Area to go shopping for things for my engagement party. And as my mom had come back, she had, um, you know, and everything was great. She had gone to sleep and woke up the next morning um, and woke up having flu-like symptoms, feeling like she was sick, um, just just like a basic flu, didn't, was, didn't have energy, couldn't get out of bed. So we just assumed that, you know, while she was um, in the Bay, she must have just gotten um, a, a virus or something and picked something up. So, you know, she had gone through all the symptoms and such. And so a couple days went by and she wasn't okay, normal. Like she just continuously kept getting worse. It was a Saturday and um, I remember I had I'd come home and um, my mom was on the kitchen floor just like just laying there i like freaked out and was like what is my mom doing on the floor and she was just she was like i can't breathe and i cannot tell you like how my, my heart just sank like i don't i don't think i've ever been more scared in my life to see my mom in that condition um but unfortunately she had something much worse she had a blood clot in her lung and had to be admitted for a few days to allow the blood clot to dissolve and um, for her blood and her lungs to be fully functional again. Um, so luckily, you know, she was okay. We caught it at a good stage. She didn't have a stroke or didn't have anything worse happen with a blood clot. Um, the doctor actually prescribed her warfarin and was she was allowed to be discharged after a few days. Um, and we go home and uh, we actually drive to the pharmacy as we're going home and um, we go into the pharmacy to pick up our prescription. But um, as we get there, um, the Pharmacists didn't really seem concerned about the drug. My mom asked if there was anything special she needed to do, and no one really said anything. Um, we didn't really think of asking for a consultation because we just assumed that she was okay because the blood clot had dissolved and stuff. So we go home as if nothing had happened, and we continue our life. Um, and we started to notice that her INR levels weren't matching up with what the doctor had wanted her. We had no idea what was going on with her health. We didn't know why her INR levels weren't matching up, her blood levels, why she wasn't having any energy. We were just frustrated and didn't know what to do. As a last resort, um, I just called the pharmacist and was very blunt and said, you know, I don't know what's wrong with my mom. She's come in many times for different prescriptions, um, different dosage levels, and you guys are just not, you know, it's just not working. Is there anything else we can do to help her? Um, that's when the pharmacist actually looked into her profile and realized uh, my mom was on warfarin and wanted us to come in as soon as we possibly could. My, me and my mom both kind of realized something wasn't right, so we rushed to the pharmacy. So basically, um, we get to the pharmacy and after the pharmacist asked a, a lot of questions and figured out exactly what was going on, he realized her lifestyle, the way she was living once she got home from the hospital, um, didn't allow her warfarin therapy to actually be effective. She was taking in a lot of spinach, a lot of vitamin K, and just things that were allowing her warfarin therapy to be effective, um, which caused her INR levels to be crazy off the roof, as well as her energy level, and just the way her well-being to be completely distorted. Um, and the pharmacist was really appalled at the fact that we didn't get a consultation, and um, now realizing how effective and how potent this drug is, um, the fact that no one even considered educating my family and myself on this is just mind-blowing to me. As a pharmacy student that will one day be a professional in this field, how do you feel you could have prevented this? Um, as a pharmacy student, I'm very surprised that the pharmacist himself didn't offer uh, a consultation. But at the same time, I do think it's very important for both parties to be proactive in their health care. Um, I think our field is evolving to where we are being able to be more proactive within our patients' health care. Our field holds a lot um, of potential to be more active in our patients' health care. Um, but I do also want to emphasize the fact that the patient should feel comfortable enough to go in and talk to their pharmacist and, and demand a consultation. And the fact that some drugs are, you know, much more potent and have more life-threatening um, uh, potential, such as warfarin, um, being such a low therapeutic index drug, um, the pharmacist should have automatically consulted and shouldn't and shouldn't have gone out without saying. So for myself being in this field and seeing um, myself as a future of pharmacy, I definitely would be more proactive um, and wanting to be um, more patient-centered and allowing my patients to feel that they are able to come and ask questions because that's, you know, that's basically what we're here for. And if we need to have that open communication to allow better um, 
help for our patients and, and the 